There's an interesting passage of scripture in 1 Corinthians, and I want to read it for you. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all mercies and the God of all comfort. And then it says this, Who comforts us in all our tribulations so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. You say, what? Here's what he's saying. When we go through difficult times and God comforts us, when we lose someone who dies or we go lose a job or we go through a difficult time in life with finances or friends or relationships, whatever it is, and God comes and comforts us, then we're able, when someone else goes through a very similar situation, comfort them in the way that God comforted us. And that is a reality. I can remember going through a situation one time where I lost my job and it was devastating to me. And I traveled uh, to San Diego and I met a friend and I began to tell him my story and all that I went through. And uh, he, he prayed for me and, and he said things to me. And believe it or not, in less than a year, the exact same thing happened to him. And he came and visited me. And I was able to comfort him with the comfort that God had given to me. So think about it. There are things that have happened to you that perhaps haven't happened to others, but God will use it in your life to comfort those who go through the same thing. I've never lost a spouse. I've never lost a child. Maybe you have. And you have a special ministry that God has given you by the way that he's comforted you. So allow yourself to realize that when you go through difficulties, God has given you a brand new ministry to comfort others in the way that he comforted you.